Hi everyone, and welcome to the start of our brand new series in Unreal Engine 4, talking about how to create a skill system inside UE4. Now, a skill system, the way it works is the player earns perk points through typically leveling up, and then they can spend those perk points on various skills inside the game. These skills will add further abilities or unlocks in the environment for them, and allow them to progress into the game as a stronger individual. So, we're going to set up this skill based system and we'll be using a component based way uh, which is very common with a lot of my tutorials where I've used components to compartmentalize a lot of the work that goes into them it just makes things a lot easier to organize a lot easier things to access and reuse later on as well so let's first of all get started by creating a new folder and we'll call it skill system and in there we're going to go and create a new blueprint class and choose actor component and that's going to be the skill system component alongside that we also need a way of storing all the details and data about that um, uh, those skills so we need to make a data structure first of all before going in to make a data table so let's make a data structure so I'm going to go add new or just right click in the space and then go to blueprints and you'll see structures and in there, we're going to set up the skill data structure. And this is simply a collection of all the variables that we're going to be required for each of the skills. So we're going to need uh, the skill ID, uh, not skill ID, sorry, skill name. So name, which would be a text value, a description of what the skill does. Again, text value. We're going to say their cost. So how many perk points do they require? And we'll turn that into a integer. We're then also going to need a thumbnail for the UI when we get around to it. So add a thumbnail, and the type for thumbnail is going to be a texture 2D. And we're going to add another one, which is going to be the number of tiers it has. And the tiers mean that the player is able to spend uh, perk points into it multiple times. Okay, so um, be aware that that is um, something that you want to be able to do in your game. If it isn't, you don't have to add that tier. You can have like just one skill point per tier. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom here to default values, and I'm going to change the number of tiers to be default to one, and the cost we're going to default it to one as well. Hit save and we'll close that for now. And now we're going to add a data table. The data table is where all this data is going to be stored, allowing us to access it later on inside the uh, system. So we go right click again, go to miscellaneous, and you'll see data table. And you want to choose the skill data structure from the list and click OK. and call it skill data table and in here you'll see the data table set up with name description cost thumbnail and tiers there's no data in it yet we have to add it manually um, you could even add, you could add it manually or you could also do it in Excel or uh, Google Sheets and export it as a CSV and use a CSV to upload it here but for sake of simplicity we're going to keep it all in on real so in here the way you add data to this table oh pardon me is we're going to go to go to row editor here, not row editor. So go add at the top, and in the row editor at the bottom there, we can now enter that data there. What's going on there? There we go. So the first skill is going to be double jump, and allow the player to jump. Uh, let's rename that actually. Let's say. Um, Boost yourself higher with a second jump in mid air. And I'm going to say it's got a cost of, say, uh, three skill points. Thumbnail, I haven't got one yet. We'll come back to that later. And tiers, we'll say it's got only one tier. And there you go. And you see the new row is appearing there, like so. So you're going to want to go and change the name of the row. So you see row name, it says new row. Just double click on that. You can change the row of it. 
and you typically want to try and keep it as a sort of um, unique identifier to the skill. So I would do all in lowercase double underscore jump in this case. Okay, so a bit of row name. So row name is double jump. The name of the skill is double jump. Description: boost yourself higher with a second jump in midair. Cost is three. Thumbnail is none yet, and tears is one. And we can add another one to this, and we can add that all here as well. So my second one here is going to be um, steel grip. We'll call it, and we'll say um, uh, able to open heavy doors and uh, around the environment, around the world. We'll say actually, and the cost of this is going to be one skill point. And the thumbnail is going to be uh, something when we add it later, and we'll add we'll add more tiers to this one. So we'll say there's three tiers to this one, so allowing to open heavier doors uh, around the environment, maybe we'll see. And again, row name we're going to double click on here and just change the name of this one here to steel underscore grip, like so. And you just keep doing that for all the skills you're going to have inside your game. I'm going to hit save and close that. So once we've got that set up, we can now start work in our component. So go into your component and in here, we're going to add the ability to store and track what skills we've got unlocked. Now the way this works is through a map. So we're going to go to the left hand side of the variable list and choose new variable. And we call this one skill unlocks. And we're going to change this to a byte. Actually, now let's change it to a string, it'll be easier, a bit more human for us. And click on the little pill icon and choose the map, which is the bottom option. And we're going to leave integer as an integer because that's going to refer to the amount of tiers that we've completed inside that skill. Click compile, and at the bottom here, you can see skill unlocks. We can now add skills to this that we've unlocked. So the skill name, the row name, would go here and then the number of tiers that we completed will go here in the left hand side, uh, right hand side, sorry. So the way a map works is that the left hand column is the keys and the right hand column is the values. And the keys are unique identifiers and the values are a value associated to that key. We'll hit uh, delete on that one. So we've got fresh skill unlocks. Click compile and close that. We're now gonna add this to the player character. So let's find our player characters actor and in here, we're going to go add component and just type in the name of this skill system component. And there it is. So with that on there, it means that you can now go in and per actor change what skills they can unlock. Yeah. So that's an important feature is if you, you've got a choice really, you can set up so um, there's a fixed amount of skills per character. And if you've got multiple characters that can unlock different skills, you could do that. Or you can make it a free for all and just unlock any skill you like. So we're going to do it a free for all, any kind of skill you like. But there is that option there. You can do that by specifying which skill each actor has, and then doing a bit of tweaking later on. But for us, we're going to do any uh, all the skills in the data table will be available to the player. Okay, we've done that here. So let's save and close that, and let's go back to our skill component and. We're going to add the first function. Now, the first function is going to be add skill. And the skill is going to basically increase this. The, the, when you purchase it, you'll be adding the skill to your skill unlock uh, list here. So, the skill we need to identify in as a parameter, as an input. So, with it selected, go over to the right hand side where it says inputs. And we want this to be a string. And the name of this will be. Um, row name and the row name will obviously refer to the skill data table and the output for this is going to be whether or not it was successful or not so make that a boolean and we'll call it success okay so that's the start of our function to add the skill to this it's quite simple all we're going to do is drag our skill unlocks variable out and choose get. Now we're going to drag out from here and we need to tell it to first of all look for if there is already the uh, skill inside this map. 
okay and if it is then we're going to increase the integer value of it so let's first of all check if we have that skill inside this uh, list here so I'm going to go find and drag the row name into there and this boolean that comes out will be true or false whether or not we find it so I'm going to use that into a branch if it's false um, we're going to make it so it just adds it to the map quite simply so we're going to drag that variable back out again and do add and drag that up to false the row name we can just type in here row name and the value we're going to do is increase it by one so we just type in one next we're going to do the true branch and on the true branch we're going to drag out our variable out again and this time we need to increase the current value that's in there so we're going to use this find here and do the add again but this time we're going to take the find value out and do integer plus integer and plug that in. And the row name will go into the string. Like so. And at the end, we're going to do the return node success for both of them to be true. And it compile and there's your add skill so this is both handling of adding a brand new skill and also adding a non-existing skill so hit save and close that function down the next function we're going to add is a query function the ability to query our skill unlocks to see if we have unlocked a particular skill so I'm going to go into new function here and do query skill and we want to query this skill name by going into inputs and adding a, uh, the row name to this or skill name, how you want to say it row name and that'd be a string and the row name is going to be compared against our variable so drag this out again and do find and if it's true we're going to output success as true if it's false we'll output it as false so we can leaving doing it as a branch um because we one shortcut is we could when we add the output for this is and change this to success and make that boolean um one shortcut of this is rather than doing a branch you could just do this okay however it doesn't give us much option later on if we want to add further code to it um to do various other things so I'm going to just for the sake of simplicity we're going to keep the branch in there and do this setup where we have two return nodes plugged in one off and one on okay so and that's as simple as that so the query will t spit out that uh, one thing you may want to also output is the integer that is being output as well so which rank you got so on my return node I'm going to add another output to this one and we'll call it tier level and that'll be an integer and that'll be plugged in to the find there and hit compile and that's query done so with that done let's talk about how this would work so I've got a skill unlock and when I've added a skill to it, say that I had double jump to it, I've unlocked the skill double jump, I add that skill onto there. Then when I'm actually inside the game, I'll load up the game, I may want to turn on the ability to allow the player to double jump. If I want to do that, I need to do query skill and then I can query a specific skill to achieve that. So in the next episode, we're going to accomplish that uh, task. We're going to set it up so that we can test out and unlock double jumping and make it work inside the game for the player character. If you want to watch that next episode right now, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daly, where that episode is there plus many others, as well as, and you get many other benefits as well. Big shout out and thank you to all of my patrons for their continued support, and it wouldn't be possible to do this work without you guys, so thank you so much yet again. 
that's all for me if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please subscribe like this video and comment below if you have any questions thanks again everyone and i'll see you all next time bye bye